now we're asking, is it okay for films to show cannabis use to 12 year olds? Do give us a call on this one. 0207 862 is the number. We'll speak to you in just a moment. Britain's film censor has changed the guidance when it comes to depicting drug use on screen due to a softening of attitudes amongst the public. It means that the recent Bob Marley film, One Love, which fe features repeated cannabis use, would previously have been rated a 15, but is now a 12A. Uh, let's take a look and a warning, this does show cannabis use. Don't worry about a thing. That every little thing <laughs> gonna be all right. You like that one? Yeah. So are you more relaxed about drug taking on screen? Or actually, do you think that children still need to be protected from seeing certain things, James? Well, I think there are a whole range of issues about this because I do understand that when you've got nations that have decided to decriminalise uh, cannabis, um, films are made all over the world and if there are different attitudes to it, then, uh, you know, how do you govern, you know, something that is, is treated very differently in, in nations across the world? And I think that we've got problems in our own nation as to how we classify it because it was declassified and then it was reclassified. And the thing is that you go down any street uh, in pretty much any uh, city or town uh, in this country and you'll see people smoking it so what's the point in trying to curtail it and I do think that the responses on this in terms of um, the violence and the sex and then uh, drug use um, is probably right to reflect social attitudes which probably have changed if you think however that this kind of classification is going to stop because as soon as these films or movies become available on streamers and become available um, in, in other shapes or forms or you have a look at what's available on social or digital media there's all sorts of stuff there so it doesn't actually matter a stuff and if I look back to, to my youth going to see movies. Uh, I went to see mo movies that were deeply age inappropriate and an, at, at an inappropriate age and there was almost no one stopping you when you went but in there. Do you think so, it had a long-term uh, effect on you, James? Is that the problem? <laughs> I, who knows whether it's the problem. So I, I'm not actually that fast, but I do think that we've got a wider problem when it comes to different rules applying to different kinds of media Tessa, and what we do and don't want to show to children. You've got a young daughter. So this, yes. these classifications actually affect you. I mean, does it does it bother you that this has been downgraded to twelve A? No, I think what it does. I think the BF, the BBFC has highlighted just how hopelessly behind the curve our government is, because we still rely on the Misuse of Drugs Act from the 1970s, which classifies the possession of cannabis as something that could get you up to five years in one of our very crowded prisons, at the same time as we are saying it's okay for a 12-year-old to check out a very cool, vibey, peace-loving Bob Marley smoking a bit of weed in a film. And that is ne'er the twain will meet. So what I'd like to see is our government wake up, smell the marijuana, stop marijuana being illegal, thus making it a gateway drug. Because once you start dealing in illegal substances, what's to stop you going down the slippery slope? And I hear on the news this morning, the latest one is synthetic opioids, which is going to yes. potentially kill tell times as many people as heroin. So hold on, do you think that actually legalising cannabis will stop it being a gateway drug? Yeah, well, well a gateway to Other illegal stronger. dealers. Because you've broken the law. And you it see, is. I think that's a really interesting and important point, which is we know that certain wars, uh, if you like, war on drugs or otherwise, has been lost. It would be far better to regulate, to yeah. raise the tax and, and actually to separate that supply chain. Because the thing is that if that supply chain is going to be there, uh, as far as I understand, and this is not, I, I really dislike all of these things, mostly because of I think what it does to people. But setting that aside, it should be more about education yeah. and personal choice. But I think that if, for example, as you correctly say, if somebody is in touch with a dealer for, say, uh, marijuana, they are chances are going to have access to all the other things as well. Yeah. So it becomes a, a smorgasbord. We're, we're talking about showing a movie with a lot of cannabis use yeah. in it to 12 year olds when cannabis itself has a very detrimental effect on developing brains, the younger generation. So surely the twelve-year-old class. Yeah, but then there were, you know, are you going to stop a, you going to stop a, you going to stop a, uh, a, 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 you know, a youngster watching a Bond movie, which probably has a lot of, but, no, but, uh, a lot of drinking and smoking and various other things. I mean, you know, the, the the point is that just because you see something doesn't necessarily mean that the education around it shouldn't be there. So I think we have to have yeah. better education around these things. That first of all, there are certain things which are age appropriate or inappropriate. Uh, secondly, there are certain substances which have different impacts upon people on. But, at different ages and then as 
Tessa correctly says, um, th these gateways and, and the issues and the social problems that we have as a result of these things. So I think there are out of step, if you like, rules yeah. and guidance. And then also this kind of weird uh, sort of view that if you don't show it to somebody, they're not going to see it and that they are going to see but it. And also, it is going to be discussed. What they're basically saying, the BBFC, is marijuana is everywhere, so it can also be in this film. Uh, th that's effectively the message. It's reflecting real life. Young people are more relaxed about marijuana because they come across it all the time. And that's what I'm saying about our, our law being behind the curve. Because once people totally disregard the law, then it's pointless and, in, and it becomes a mockery of the legal system. Interestingly, in changing these guidelines, they become stricter on Yes. Sex and violence and bad language. Yes. So is this just a cultural shift, actually, that's quite sensible then? Well, it's very interesting. You mentioned Bond films, Goldfinger. You'll remember Sean Connery knocks that woman quite roughly into yeah. that. When I say that woman, it's on a black man, I think, playing pussy galore. And it's what would now be termed as non, pretty much non-consensual sex. I mean, yep. a lot of us might think, hey, Sean Connery, when he was in his prime, whatever. But, you know, no, actually, th th that's crossing a line. And I, I don't know about you, Storm, because you're a bit younger than me, so I'm no longer in the first flush of youth. But I grew up on movies like that, that I was kind of reared on mm. ideas around male sexuality. Do you think it changes permissive culture? Sex. I, 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 when I think back to men sort of being inappropriate around me, pressing themselves against me, eyeing me, rather than go, oi, mate, and, you know, telling him to off, I would sort of try and gently n not offend him, but extract myself. Mm. And I think Whereas that's I look a, that, at I my daughter a... today would be like, hey, what are you doing? But, this you is, but, that's, but that's a really interesting point and, and an important point, which is, um, movies can reinforce certain kinds of behaviours. Yes. And I do understand the, the discussion about drugs and whether or not, you know, anything should be... There are a lot of things that should probably never be shown, but they are a reality. But there's also, I think, been a sea change yes. in how people behave towards each other. Um, for example, years ago, you never saw... I mean, the jokes in the 70s were, you go to Italy, regardless of who you are, you may get your bottom pitch. You know, that, is, that sort of behaviour is no longer yeah, it's not. considered either acceptable or right or in any shape or form. I, I I never remember when I was growing up seeing uh, messages on the on tube and public transport saying yeah. there are certain things which are you know inappropriate, inappropriate behaviours and they and, 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 and they're being called out now numbers to call if you see it I and see language it. Sharon, Sharon from Doncaster what do you think about this change in the guidance or guidelines which means that uh, we're now showing twelve year olds in, or twelve a uh, twelve year olds images of people smoking cannabis. Well, I'm really, really um, against it. 100% okay. against it because the reality is when a person is 12 years of age, they're impressionable. Mm. And they may go down the route of, well, you know, it's on TV, it's on, on the internet, it's on here, there and everywhere. I'll have a go. The reality is that when somebody smokes marijuana on a regular basis, it chills them out so much that they're unable to take the stresses of every day, like dealing with bills, going to work, going to college, going to school. And so they've got this chilled out brain that can't take stresses. On top of that, they generally can't hold down a job. Well, I mean, I think, that Sharon, I, I totally take your comments and I think that we're generalising here and that's probably specific people, but definitely on developing brains can, can cause serious damage. I think the, the thing that uh, they took into consideration when making this film a 12A was actually the ethos behind the film is all about um, love and togetherness and oneness and, and joy. And they, they sort of, they seen it as a whole. Do you think that's fair? I think if you're Bob Marley and you're in the music industry and it kind of goes with the music industry because you can... It can do. You know, yeah. But if you're in a responsible job or you want a responsible job or you want people to be encouraged into nursing and other areas, it has to start from a young age where you show a disapproval and where you make people completely aware of the reality of it. Okay. And using Bob Marley as some kind of, you know, example of um, 
it's okay is utterly outrageous. Yeah, I'm not sure he was pinned up as a, hey, try cannabis, Bob Marley did it, but but I take your point, Sharon, Tessa, you but want But also, to if you're back. a 12-year-old watching a film, I mean, I watched Bond movies all my childhood, it doesn't mean I'm going to try and replicate the behaviour of 007 the next day. This isn't suggesting to 12-year-olds, go and smoke weed, but it's being honest about the portrayal of Bob Marley's life. But maybe if we're showing it to 12-year-olds, it's sending out a signal that we're more accepting of it, which is Sharon's but, point. But I just want point. to get another call in. Andy from Nottingham, I'm sure. What's your thoughts on this? Um, well, my thoughts mainly were that um, children are very, very curious and you will smell cannabis, you know, in a lot of places. It's, it is quite common. And when I was younger, I was just told that it's bad for you, it's bad for you it will ruin your life and it's, well, that doesn't make much sense. And then when I did try it, um, I thought, well, that was a big fat lie. And I luckily my life didn't go either, off. Andy, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so very, we're running out of time here, Andy, but what do you think? 12 age, do you think that's an appropriate age? Um, yeah, I do. I do because otherwise it's just a big mystery and then they may go and dabble without the proper information Interesting. and i think as long as it's as long as it's not linked with violent criminality and it's just in of itself just as a thing i think that's fine interesting all right listen thank you for your call thanks for all your calls uh, today